Hey bitches! It's Luke and today I'm going to be making a video about coming out as gay to my friends and family. And coming out is kind of something that's not as hard to talk about anymore so that's why I'm making this video and it's kind of like a comeback for me. Okay, my laptop needs to shut the fuck up. Like, shut up. So it all started in the 8th grade when I had this fine ass science teacher and like honestly I just knew it right then. I was like, I want that. And okay, so it didn't happen and then, so that's kind of just when I decided like, I don't think straight people feel like that. So I dead ass wanted to fuck my 8th grade science teacher. It didn't happen, which is kind of a bummer honestly, but like, that's honestly kind of when it hit me like, okay, like I'm not attracted to girls and like I never really was, like I was more their friends or whatever. And so... 8th grade math, I had this trash ass math teacher, love him though, like if you're watching this. My, one of my best friends at the time was in my class and honestly like, she was always there for me so like I honestly just told her, I was like, hey, um, I'm gay and, and she was literally so accepting like, oh my god, I've always wanted to have a gay best friend, like oh my god, and it was such an exciting time. And then come freshman year people weren't as accepting, like, the upper class, and were like, oh, that's fucking funny, like, he wears that, he talks like that, he hangs out with those people, he acts like that, he likes boys, and so that was always something that was harder, um, because there's always those people, like, I had those people in high school, like, oh my god, he's gay, like, hey, I'm not trying to suck your dick, like, that's not my problem, like, but I honestly, like, didn't give a fuck. Um, I've always kind of had a problem, like, in the 8th grade, I was put into a locker in the locker room because of I was gay and, like, the other guys were changing, so they literally put me in the locker, like, okay, shove me in the locker, I don't care, like, all these guys, like, up until, like, back in, like, junior high and high school, like, people were so fucking rude and thought they were, like, the hottest shit that, like, I wanted to get with them, like, you're not cute, why would I ever want to get with you? I have more queens than you do, so, like, I'm winning. <laughs> you're not. Then, like, sophomore year, um, I had an English class, and our assignment was to write an I am essay, which, for those of you who don't know, an I am essay is, like, I am strong, or, like, I am a baseball player, like, and mine was, I am gay. And it was honestly, like, hard for me to write that on paper, but, like, not at the same time. Like, I knew who I was, I knew who I wanted to be. Emotions just, like flowed all over the paper and I realized that I needed to use this to kind of show my parents who I really was because prior to when I wrote this essay they were always like oh no you can't spend the night at a girl's house like you're a boy and she's a girl like okay we're not gonna fuck like so who cares like that I like dick actually throwing it back like to eighth grade before freshman year I had my best friend at the time text my um, mom and say hey I just wanted to let you know that Luke is bisexual because I didn't want to tell her myself. She sent the text and my fat ass went to bed. Like, I just wasn't trying to deal with that. Like, I deal with it before school. Like, that's how it went down and her and my dad literally came in my room and were like, my dad started crying. Like, I literally, like, it, I honestly found it funny. Like, who cares? I just want to, like, tell anyone watching this, like, if you have... A fucking issue with someone who likes their same sex like fuck off because honestly they don't like you because honestly like the people who think that you're nothing you're trash you're like straight recycling so that's not my problem that's your problem to deal with that's your parents for raising you so horribly to think that of other people you're probably one of those people who wears Aeropostale so if you're out there Nobody wants your dick. I also wanted to talk about an experience. I haven't really told this to anyone other than my friends, but I actually met this guy, and he looks like a coach or something, like 26, like, okay, yes, like, bring it on, boo, yes. Me and my friend drove to his house, like, my friends were all like, yes, daddy, like, okay, I'm so excited to, like, hang out with him and, like, get to know him. So we get there, he wouldn't come outside to like get me or anything, and I texted him, sat there for like an hour, and he finally sent me a picture of himself, and it was literally a selfie of some black guy, like, I have nothing against black people, but that's not what I signed up for. I literally screwed the fuck off so fast, like... What do you 
What do you mean I just got catfished? I'm how old? Like 18. Yeah, Nev from fucking Catfish. Um, I want to report this incident in Davenport. Like, <gasps> it was literally just a mess, honestly. Like, <sighs> going back to when I wrote that essay. Um, sorry, I like, get off topic so easily. So I eventually gave it to my parents and my mom texted me after I gave it to her and left. Like I literally sat on the counter, left went to a party and like blacked out that night and woke up the next morning and she like texted me. She was like, Luke, like, you know I we always love you. Like it just makes me sad that you didn't tell us and like you felt this way. And like honestly, like I'm so happy that I got it out like that. I think the next video is gonna be um in either like a questionnaire or my experiences in Iowa City because I literally went two weekends ago and the shit that went down. My friend got roofied. I got hit on by a straight guy and then I got hit on by a guy that wasn't straight but like I didn't think he was like gay or whatever. My life is literally a shit show. So honestly just follow me for more and like your life's gonna turn upside down. But if someone hates on you, do it harder. If someone doesn't like who you are, Honestly, tell them that you don't want to suck their dick, honestly. Like, maybe that'll help. I don't fucking know. Until next time, stay true, bitches.